seven and five. Yes. Three and seven. Three and seven. In the middle back. Yes. Three and six. Three and six. Yeah. Five, and ten. Oh. Five and ten, and then three and, three and ten. Four and eight. Six and seven. There's, oh, I'm sorry, in the back, I apologize. Is there any objection to closing nominations? Hearing none, nominations are closed. The parliamentarian will reorder the list. And as he is doing so, the chair thanks once again our sergeant at arms who has to leave us now to go tend to her horses. Thank you very much, Joyce Reynolds Ward. And now the deputy takes over. John, John McDonald. Mr. McDonald, thank you. Okay. <laughs> We're almost ready to, once, the, uh, once we get this reordered, that's fine. What? Let him finish and then we'll check that out. Has to be able to see them all at once, and then we'll be able to see. Kevin, your father wasn't made of glass. Sorry. Your father wasn't made of glass. I can't see. <laughs> Meeting will stand at ease while we get this straightened out. Uh, don't don't joke about it, folks. It's too late. I'm gonna get some coffee. Then, by balance lines, the largest and the smallest. Okay. Now we expand the screen, and we'll see if we've got them all. Okay. I heard a call from the audience that they questioned the ratio in one of the cells. There was a question in the lower right corner. The, is that the 1.6 repeating? <laughs> no, he's withdrawing it. Is, are there any questions about the ratios or the numbers in, uh, on the list? OK. Is the heading, can, can you give me the heading as well? Can you can get the heading row back up, please? Thank you. We will take these in descending order, starting at the top row. Oh, I'm sorry, that's right. There was two minutes of debate time for the purpose of discussing the possibilities. Uh, yes, you. I would encourage people, there's not a for and against here. I would encourage members to be very brief in this. You're going to use up your time very quickly. There's no for and against any of it. It's just a general discussion on these numbers. Uh, Eric right. Shulman. All right, I guess so. Let's see what he says. I proposed one of five. I am in favor of one of five if this is the method we choose instead of EPH next year. This is effectively the same as EPH except the members can only nominate one work per category. If EPH is too complicated for next year's meeting, one of five would do the same thing of minimizing slates. For what purpose does the member rise in attempting to interrupt another speaker? Members will not rise while other members are speaking unless they are trying to raise points of order. If you do that, I will not call on you. And I, you. I just want to say that if we do four of six or any other thing, it is going to be possible to game the system. In one of five, you can't game the system unless you have five times the number of, of nominators as the rest of the community has. And if that case, then they, they should win, justifiably. Someone and one else. last thing, I just want to point out that Andy Weir came in sixth in the nominations for the uh, John W. Campbell Award. And if it hadn't been for the slates, I would have been able to vote for him for that. And I'm sad about not being able to. Yeah, the member is engaging in substantive debate on the third point. Now I will call on you. Yes, that'll be thing. How much time left? Oh, um, about a minute. Mr. Speaker? Yes. Joe Vanegar. Um, I would like to contradict the previous speaker. This is not essentially the same as EPH. In fact, if you pass both EPH and 4 slash 6, it will actually be a little bit stronger and more better at demagnifying the power of the slates. Mm. Wow. 
point of, uh, there's a point of order? I believe that the speaker was not in order because they were debating the suggestion. Uh, the, 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 the somewhat unfocused way in which the, the original motion to give this two minutes of debate was included has left the question somewhat open as to what the members are going to speak about. Uh, this, there's only about 45 seconds left anyway. Mr. Stevens. Mr. Chairman, Milt Stevens, any number of nominees less than five will make the uh, voters feel deprived and they won't like it. So I think that would be unwise. Adding numbers uh, that appear on the ballot would give voters a greater choice, would increase your chances of getting one of your nominees onto the ballot, would increase ego boo and make a few people feel better. There is no real downside to doing that. I believe there is time for one more person. Mr. Quinn. This is in general compatible with EPH in any of its forms. However, the strongest resistance to slate comes with the highest number of nominations. That is all. That time for debate has expired. Um, that will leave 10 minutes. I, if there's no objection, I really would like to leave 10 minutes substantive debate if we manage to get through this and just... Uh, I hear no objection. Uh, what, for what purpose does the member rise? To extend debate time on, this by two minutes. on this, there's a motion to extend debate on the general subject of what numbers to fill the blank with for two minutes. Is there a second? second. Okay. All those in favor of extending the debate by two minutes, raise your hands. Hands down, those opposed. Hands down, there being less than two-thirds in the affirmative, the motion is not carried. We are going to move and vote on each of these. Now, I want to reiterate, each of these choices is a separate yes and no question. We, you get to vote on each of them, yes or no. If you favor one of the smaller ratios, you need to vote no on each of the larger ones. The first one to get an affirmative yes vote is the one that fills the blank, and we will never vote on the ones after that. Is there any question about this process? Very well. On one and five, all those in favor, raise your hands. No, we are vote. okay, the, the, I will take that question, but otherwise you need to get the floor. We are voting on these in the order of ratio, the ratio column, the ratio column, which is the column labeled ratio. <laughs> and the column labeled ratio is how the sort goes. So six and seven. It, there, and therefore, and then if the ratio is the same, the tiebreaker is the number of ballot slots. Is there any question on the order in which the items have been listed? Is there any question on the order about what they will be voted on? The secretary is now waiting for me to get caught up. For what purpose did the member rise? Okay, come to the question. Come to the que I'm sorry? Descending order. It's always descending order. It's always descending order. All the sorts are in descending order. Descending order means the largest number counting downward to the smallest number. For what purpose does the member rise? A point of order. A member, a member will state their point of order. Uh, my name is Learned Foot. What happens if none of them get a majority? Uh, if none of them get a majority, we're now left with the blank, and we actually, I think, have to start over again. That's what I remember when the last time I read, uh, we have to start over filling blanks again. Can I get your name? Unless the members voted to leave it alone and try to pass it with the blanks, and then you'd have to fill the blanks after you passed it. <laughs> Don't do that. If any of you wish to find, if any of you happen to be in the Bay Area and wanted to see this in its most pathological form, attend a Bay Area Science Fiction Association meeting sometime. All right, are you ready? In two seconds. The secretary is getting caught up here. Okay. Let us try again. Now, I do want to make this clear. Unless you are raising a point of order having to do with something to do with the method of counting, there are no further uh, interruptions to the counts in the middle here. We have to get through this before we can move on to the next item. Are there any questions? That's it. The first one is one and five. All those in favor of one and five, raise your hands. Hands down, those opposed. Hands down, the negative has it. One and five is not chosen. 
The next choice is three and 10. All those in favor of three and 10, raise your hands. Hands down, those opposed. Hands down, the negative has it. That is not chosen. Don, can you move down, can you highlight each row as we move down them? Two and five. All those in favor of two and five, raise your hands. Hands down, those opposed. Hands down, that is not chosen. Three and seven, those in favor of three and seven, raise your hands. Hands down, that is not chosen. Five and 10. What? Did I not? No. Have some more coffee. I didn't get a chance to have coffee during the last break. I apologize. I really, I, yeah, uh, it, 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 hypnotism can affect you. This. Let's try that again. We were on three and seven, yes? yes. Three and seven, those in, the, those in favor, raise your hands. Hands down, those opposed. Hands down, the negative has it, and that is not chosen. Ugh. Ugh. Let's try. I've never done that many blanks in one case, so that was, so next is five and 10, yes. Five and 10, those in favor of five and 10, raise your hands. Hands down, those opposed. Hands down, that is not chosen. Three and nope. six. Nope. Oh, you got ahead of me, I apologize, you're right, you're right. Four and eight. Keep me yeah, keep me. Four and eight. Those in favor of four and eight, raise your hands. Hands down, those opposed. Hands down, that is not chosen. Three and six. All those in favor of three and six, raise your hands. Hands down, those opposed. Hands down, that is not chosen. Three and five. Those in favor of three and five, raise your hands. Hands down, those opposed. And the negative has that, and that is not chosen. Five and eight. Those in favor of five and eight, raise your hands. Hands down, those opposed. The chair believes the negative has it. Uh, how many members wish to have a serpentine division count? Raise your hands. There being less than 20% in the affirmative, that is not, a, a division is not called for. So that is not chosen. Are we at six and nine now? Yep. Yeah. Six and nine, those in the favor, raise your hands. Hands down, those opposed. Hands down, that is not chosen. Four and six, those in favor of four and six, raise your hands. <laughs> hands down, those opposed. Hands down, the affirmative has it. <laughs> and the motion for the filling the blank, or the, uh, and the filling the blank in the motion four and six is filled with four and six. What, what a privilege. No, no, your mic's dead. Hang on. People are crazy. Sorry. Wait, 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 wait. Mr. Uh, Dash. I was just gonna say, now we will can call it four and six next year too. <laughs> do you all really, really all wanna be here till five? <laughs> Yes, all right. Is there any objection to not considering all of the times, uh, not, uh, to ignoring the time spent filling the blank against the total uh, debate time? That would leave 10 minutes because we had two minutes of debate. And we have 10 minutes debate time on this motion. Let's try and get to the substance of it. Um, sorry, I've forgotten who the original maker was. <laughs> yes, Mr. Gar uh, Mr. Mr. Or, uh is recognized. Okay, the point of four and six is to hinder the ability of organized states. To, oh, sorry, my name is Stephen Desjardins. The point of four and six is to hinder the ability of organized states to dominate a category. As several people have observed, it doesn't prevent it completely. But they need 50% more voters to do the same amount of damage. And that's a, that, that is a benefit. I mean, I'm, I'm speaking here now assuming that E Pluribus Hugo is not ratified next year. If it is, then this analysis is becoming more complicated, but I want to proceed on that assumption because otherwise it just gets too complicated. So yeah, they will still be able to dominate some categories with four and six, but it'll be fewer categories. They'll be able to get some nominees, some finalists onto the ballot, but those finalists will be up against more genuine competition. And the cost of doing it is not that great. So I think it's worth, uh, worth a try. Thank you.
Speech against um, Mr. Kowalczyk. I would have been in favor of this had the ratio been different, but very simple. You just tell people whose last names are between A and L to vote for one set and M and Z to vote for another set, and you can still trivially game the system this way. Uh, speech in favor. Um, hmm. Oh, boy. Over, over, yes? Oh, yes, okay, fine. Thank you. Yeah. Over there, yes. yes. Uh, Chris Garib, yes, it can be gamed. We talked, Chris Garib, yes, it can be gamed. We talked about it at the, the uh, session on Friday. The point is not to break, not to force or, or completely eliminate gaming, it is to make it more difficult. The, the, the slate group does have discipline problems. They do have coordination problems. They were run off. There was a 25% spread in their slate votes between the first and the fifth. So uh, if you don't like e pluralis hum, hum, uh, Hugo because it's too darn complicated, it doesn't get any simpler than this, folks. And if we don't do something, we'll be standing around in Helsinki with the same darn problem. The, the leader of the, both leaders of the slates have been on their blogs since the Hugos and announced they will be pushing for it next year. They will keep doing it until we shut them down. Ms. Cortai, or Corti, or whatever I'm supposed to pronounce it, Dara, I apologize. I'm terrible with many names. Dara Corti. As I said in my initial blog post on this, which I bring up because it had 10,000 hits, mostly due to file 770. Yeah, it took louder. Dara Koroti. As I said in my blog post about this, which I bring up because it had about 10,000 hits on it, many of which came from file 770. In any open and fair political system, in any open and fair electoral system, one party defeats no parties in all cases. This is why political parties arise. All of the discussion about four and six has addressed the arise of one party. And I feel comfortable calling this a party because it is expressly political in intent by the, by the backer statements. What this, what this initiative ignores is that one party is followed by the creation of opposition parties. The presence of one slate being successful under this system in capturing four of six nominations will be the creation of a second party nominating a second slate, also politically motivated to some degree, whether it means to be or not, if only in opposition. And those two parties will divide the slate between them, or the, 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 the shortlist between them. As a result of this, the Hugos will become solely a political football to be tossed back and forth and reduced in value each time as a token of political strength and nothing else. This system does not discourage slates, it mandates them. I strongly urge a vote against four and six. Speech in favor, Mr. Big Heart Yellow. As people know, I oppose EPH, but it is clear that there is a feeling within the assembly that there needs to be something done to affect slates. I would hope that we can pass this in the hopes that people will realize what a bad idea EPH is and feel that we do have a backup mechanism if they wish to address the slate issue. Speech against Mr. Cr oh, wait, no, hang on a second. You've been trying over and over again in the back there, and I, I so it, so coming up. Uh, yeah. My name is John Sagers. Um, I feel that the Hugos have a history of 